Howdy, y'all. Joe Hills here, recording as I was do in Nashville, Tennessee. This tunnel is an opportunity. But you know what? Every tunnel that's an opportunity is also a potential missed opportunity, you know? We want to make sure that this does what it's supposed to do as best as it could possibly do it. But we need to think that we thought all the way through it. Why don't we proceed all the way to the end of the tunnel? And yes, there is a purple light there, which I appreciate. But you know what? What have we got past there? Things. Stuff. Who needs things and stuff? I mean, it's not Christmas time. We don't need to be just grabbing stuff all the time. But what are we going to do? We need to figure out how to take a single point and create a line or four lines? Four line segments. Create a square. We need to mine out an area here to create a nether hub for our entire little uh, red sky bay. Now, the bay itself has a few attractions. Why don't we hop through the portal real quick? and look at the attractions, and I'll show you the three places I'm thinking of putting other portals, right? So we have our waterfall portal here, which is going to take people right there into the waterfall at our mine entrance. Now, the second portal location I'm thinking of doing would be halfway between Castle Ravenloft and the Zerpool encampment, so that way the chunks load, and the portal would be somewhere over here. So, you'd see the castle, but you could also get to Zerpool pretty easily when we're playing the game. That's a good portal location. I've actually already written down the coordinates, so we don't need to do that now. But if I swing over this way, I was thinking about having another portal inside the cube here. But the problem is, if you're inside the cube, you can't see the cube. And we spent all this time making this sign. So I was thinking, well, what about this island? Well, I'm going to dredge this island out. What about this island? This island is pretty much Mumbo's base at this point. We don't... We don't want to put anything on that island. I'm thinking maybe this peninsula here, it might, you know, Ithmus might come early and we might put a nice little Red Sky Bay entrance portal here. So from here you'd be able to see the back side of the castle, you'd be able to see the Red Sky Bay sign, and whenever we end up actually sculpting this into something cool and creepy, you know, you'll be able to see that too. So I put a little marker here to indicate that. So where should our fourth and final portal go? An excellent question. I was thinking, you know, we've got the visitor center for the pigs over here. And once again, if you put the portal inside the visitor center for the pigs, then, okay, that's kind of neat because you get to see out, you get to watch through the windows and see all the little pigs in their boats. I mean, this is, this is an okay place for a portal. It's sheltered. You know, the zombie pigmen could come through. That would actually add to the uh, ambiance a little bit. You know, you can look out the ears, but I don't know. There's just something about putting this here inside the pig that I feel is, is wasteful. Although maybe it's more... Hmm, let's think about this for a second. If you did come in through the portal inside of here, it'd be kind of disorienting at first, but it would be a cool thing. I don't know. I was thinking, though, what I'd actually probably end up doing is putting the portal halfway between the pig and the drive-in or boat-in movie theater sign on this little island here. Because that way you can see the pig, although I kind of want to get rid of that stone spire a little bit, but you can also see the movie theater, and you can see the very edge of the cube and the bit of the waterfall there. So, I don't know. And I'm not going to be able to get enough space to jump off this, am I? Let's add a, add a block. Remember, in Minecraft, if you're not doing something right... Try adding a block. Maybe it'll uh, unblock whatever, you know, flyer's block you're encountering. So, anyway. Four portals around the bay. One portal already constructed. Whoa, that's a good way to smack your head. Um, we need to go in and dig out where we're going to put all this stuff. So, away we go. Welcome to the nether. We have broadly insufficient materials to construct picks with. What do we have? Okay, if I just combine these... 19? No. Um, how much extra iron? We're just going to end up making a whole bunch of iron pickaxes because it's just not worth wasting diamonds on this stuff. And, of course, there is a proper order to make things with or in, and I'll get to it when I get to it. But I might be able to fix some of these enchanted ones I already have. Five? How am I going to get five? Dang it. Too many enchantments, not enough time. Five and nine. Okay, so what about... Is there any quartz lying around that we can just mine out for some quick experience? 
feel like that's uh, that's some quartz. Here we go. Efficiency three. We're gonna get more experienced with an efficiency unmatched by any other Minecraft player in recorded history. Let's see. That might have been the only free quartz lying around. It was. Okay, so that leaves us with two options. Mess with False's tunnel, or keep digging this way. And I'm inclined to just keep digging this way, because that is going to get us where we need to go, and maybe we'll find some quartz there. So, uh, let's go ahead and do that. Another thing I was thinking about with this portal system is if I've got, like, four portals up here that connect to the tunnel network, that's great. But unfortunately... There's not really a space, um, like, not everybody else is on this upper level network yet. So, I kind of feel like maybe I should start digging, like, a stairwell or a ladder well downward so that I can connect to wherever my portal was, you know, like, in the lower network. So, this would be a lot safer if I had a fireproof potion because I could just dig literally straight down and then put ladders back up. But I don't have a way to do that safely. So I'm just going to kind of spiral around here. You know, it's like people say, hey, man, you know, you're kind of circling the drain. Your, your whole life is ruined. And it's like, yeah, well, may, maybe we all have some problems. But I'm just going to keep digging down. Just spiral in the drain. Let's see. Where are we going? We are digging ourselves a hole. No clear indication of any sort of puncturation or other access into the lower... There sh we should be hitting the top of that next cavern there, and I'm not seeing it, which is undesirable, because that means we could be, like, in the middle of a beam in the next cavern, and, like... But, like, there should be just, seriously, a whole cavern full of, like, lava and stuff right down here. Why are we not hitting it? Huh. Well, that's broadly unfortunate. Come on. What's our elevation? 59? Yeah, that's... We should we should be there. Huh. There it is. Boom. So, at this point, we can go ahead and eat... No, we have nothing... We brought nothing to eat with us. Go ahead and enter pearl down to here. So, we are now at the end of our ice bridge. Okay, great. So, what's the most effective way to get up from here? Probably isn't one. I did not design this well. Okay. So, now we are at the level of the lower tunnel network. We can see Mumbo's tunnel. We can see that'll take us over there. Um, where's that hole in the ceiling? So now, whoop, the best thing we can possibly do is to create a way via a ladder to go up or down. Well, that was probably not the smartest way to do that. Let's go ahead and eat some food real quick on account of needing to regenerate health. Um, you know, I stopped in to ask what condition my condition was in. It, my condition was poor, you know. And we don't enrich ourselves by ignoring the impoverished. We actually just make things worse for everyone. And when we are impoverished, if there's something that we can do to improve our situation, it's our obligation to attempt to do so before seeking help from others. I didn't say, hey, mumbo-jumbo, come over here and give me bread. You know, I said, oh, I'll make my own bread. Teach a man to bread... No, wait, that's gonna get into a weird thing. Never mind. Um, how safe is it to poke our head up here? Safer than it was. I'll take it. So. That's about what I expected. So we can just hop right here. Now, in the long term, we'll actually make this a lot prettier. But for right now, I just functionally needed a way to get from down there to up here. Or from up here to down there. So, that is one less thing to worry about. Also, let's see. In terms of things I'm excited about, I am about to head to Philadelphia. Um, tomorrow, I am leaving for PAX Unplugged. If anybody here watching this video is going to be in Philadelphia for PAX Unplugged, hope you come say hello. Um, I'm going to be posting on Twitter what sorts of stuff I'm doing as I'm doing it. So, come s say hi, you know, whatever. Maybe we can play some board games. So, I know at least a couple of viewers are going to be there. So, it'll be a good time. Let's see. 
Oh, and Minecon Earth is this weekend, too. I'm not sure if I'm actually going to go to the Philadelphia Minecon Earth thing, because I haven't seen an announcement about one. But, yeah, I'll be uh, posting about that on Twitter, too. So, twitter.com slash Hills for that. Okay, so clearly I'm going to need more ladders as well, and I don't know how stairs work. So, all across the board, we are just doing great. We haven't... Wow, I need a lot more ladders. I'm also realizing in the long term that's going to be a terrible location for putting that that ladder well, but for right now, I just needed to establish something. So, let's hop back down there and complete the uh, rest of the thing on the way up. Time skip. You know, I, I live in Music City, and we love smashing records. Not like in the destroying music, burning books sense, but like we love doing better every year. We love growing, that sort of thing. And one of the things about growing is that sometimes you don't just get to smash records, you get to smash expectations. I came in here, and I was like, you know what, look at this. I've re-enchanted this iron pick. I'm going to be a madman, dashing my pick against the sky until I have room for the most amazing nether hub ever for all the portals that I want, you know. And then I, I went and I actually did the math on, like, where the portals go. And, man, they do not go over here. In fact, all three of them go back further this way down the tunnel. So, if I was going to create some sort of bay-shaped hub, or a uh, some sort of Bayesian coordination of, like, red skyness, I need to actually do it kind of as an oblong rectangle that starts back in this corner. And that's going to be our castle entrance portal over at that side. I don't actually have extra obsidian right now to build the portal, but that's that's where that portal will go. Now then, well, you're probably saying, well, what about the mouth of the bay? Also, is there a word for the mouth of a bay? I don't know. But feel free to leave one in the comments if you have a good pun on, like, whatever. Because right now I've just got the mouth of Red Sky Bay. But it might be, like, maybe the beginning, maybe before it's a bay, it's a bay B. Maybe it's a Red Sky Baby. I don't know. It's something. Anyway, portal for that will go here. But, you know, how does this connect to our other portal? Where is it in relation to it? Well, let's just dig here with no regard for, like, any lava that might flay us to death. No, I'm just kidding. Lava doesn't flay people. It burns them. Like that. Okay. So, meanwhile, in Red Sky Flay... Oh, that was the end of the... Oh, I wasted that entire pick. Whoops. Well, I had fun doing it. And there's a block there. Okay, so somewhere this is going to meet up with... That hub that I've already started digging, but maybe I've entirely missed it. I don't know. My point is that I don't really have a good grasp, or at least I... Oh, yeah, this is way further than I should have dug. Okay, yeah, way, way too... Sometimes, as a comedian, you have to be aware when you're taking something too far. This tunnel took it way too far. Look at that. I'd be willing to bet if I started digging diagonally... Well, I'm going to run out of pickaxes. Man, my material resource constraints are continuously frustrating me. Yeah, this is way too close. Okay, so if we go back here, and we start digging backwards, we will hit that tunnel like pretty soon, I think. But, core concept, don't know exactly how I want to do this structure. Uh, man, we are just burning through picks like no tomorrow. But I kind of think that what I want to do is have the floor... Okay, so yeah. So we have portal there, we have a portal here. If, if Imagine that we just, like, mine out all of this netherrack in here. And all the way through here, and then diagonally, we have the netherrack mined out this way as well, to connect to this portal and back over there to that one. Like, and then we just make a huge model of the bay with wool underneath the blue glass and maybe some sort of sculptures like to represent the castle and the pig, that sort of thing. I think that that could look really cool. Now, once again, we're in a situation now where like we can't make picks because we're out of sticks. So it might be a little bit bold of me to say, oh yeah, I'm going to make enough glass to cover this whole lake area or bay. Like, but... You know, this is a long-term project, and sometimes when you're thinking in the long term, you have to be a little bit aspirational. Whoa, oh, and not 
burn to death, not burn into death, is crucial in many elements of architecture. Um, that's actually why we have fire marshals. You know, they're one of the most popular kinds of marshals. Um, the other, of course, being grand marshals of parades. Um, you know, I'm not sure if the guy who plays Daryl was actually the grand marshal of the parade that I saw him in in, like, Mardi Gras or New or er, in New Orleans a few years back. But he was on a float, and he was, like, having a fun time. Man, it would be so cool to be a grand marshal of a parade. Hey, if any of you guys are in charge of parades, Mardi Gras is around the corner. I would love to be the grand marshal of a parade. I don't, I, I don't think that that's an actual reasonable goal at this point. But let's face it, neither is turning all of this into a big glass bay. So we're just going to start where we're at now. We're going to work at it, you know, down the line. We'll see what happens. Okay. Well, thank you guys so much for joining me today. I am super excited about going to Philadelphia and meeting all of you guys, or some of you guys. If all of you went to Philadelphia, I, th I think that would still be okay. Philadelphia can probably accommodate a large number of tourists, and I know how many people watch these videos. So, yeah. That's unlikely, though. Looking forward to seeing some of you guys in Philly. Um, might not have some Hermitcraft videos out for a few days. Might have a little bit here and there. But I will try to do some vlog stuff from on the ground at PAX Unplugged. Let's go over here because it's prettier. There we are. Look at this. This this is the foundation of an excavation of a bay Vacation? I don't know. Uh, I'm, I'm digging myself another hole. Like, word logistically. Wow. Combining the word word and logistically is not... There's no smooth puns there. Anyway, until next time, y'all. This is Joe Hills from Nashville, Tennessee. Keep adventuring. Stream, don't leave. That's actually just the end of the recording. Uh-oh, why is it... That's bad. When I click stop at recording and it doesn't actually stop the recording, something bad is happening. Let me check my files. Welcome to the file system. We've got fears to actualize.